Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich? Like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you're having doubts, look at all these happy customers. So, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but I haven't uploaded in like over a month. Now, even though I've been busy with university, the main reason why I haven't bothered making videos is just I don't feel motivated enough at the moment. If GTA was a game that I could get on, get a really good fight, have loads of fun, then I'll play it all the time. But I think GTA is in a state at the moment where Rockstar just keep adding pointless features to just make the game more infuriating to play as a PvP player. This isn't just PC, it's console too. Except PC also has modders, which doesn't help the situation. As many people know, GTA used to be quite a balanced game until they added VIPs and CEOs. This meant that people could spam BST for the first time and also have a 3 minute off radar. Now at first these weren't too bad, but over time, futuristic vehicles, the orbital cannon, along with many glitches, they got added to the game, and they all made free mode fighting much worse. GTA Online isn't even the same game anymore, and this free mode battle will show what I mean by this. So this all started when I got invited to play an executive deathmatch. Usually I wouldn't accept, but at this point I was pretty bored and wanted something to do, so I accepted. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect this guy to be any good, I just wanted to fight someone just so I could warm up, because I hadn't played for quite a while. So VIP deathmatch not fucking running us. So as you can see, he's all you trying to run away, even though the whole point of an executive deathmatch is to try and kill each other. But yeah, I check out this guy's profile, he's got a pretty high KD, 3.69. So maybe what he's trying to do is protect his KD. Let's have a look. As well as flying away, he also just hides behind cover pretty much all the time. So yeah, this guy started using BST first. I don't really have a problem with that, I can use his BST back, but it's just annoying to fight against. Oh, this kid's a little fucking bitch. Oh my god, man. So as well as using BST and hiding behind cover, he also uses snacks and armor. I mean, cool, but it's just really annoying to fight against. Like, this guy just gets so lucky. If you know what I meant by calling him lucky, this he was covered by the bus all the time. By the way, my aim is actually terrible in this next clip, so, uh, get a bit you warned. Man, this guy's actually just fucking running. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, it's fucking terrible as well. It's not as if I can fucking shit. So, yeah, what's supposed to be a VIP deathmatch where you fight each other turns into a game of cat and mouse where I literally have to chase him all the way around, not the map, all the way around this bloody area. Now, if this was just a random guy in free mode and they didn't want to fight and they just wanted to run away, I'll just let them run away. I'm not going to fight someone that's running away. But when the actual whole point of what we're doing is to fight each other, uh, I, just, I don't I have no words. So yeah, instead of finishing the actual deathmatch and getting all the money, I think it's like 30 grand, it's not that much, but still, money, he just decides to straight up leave. So of course I decided to send him a message calling him a little bitch, and of course he decides to pull the cheating card. Now surprisingly for someone that didn't seem to want to fight, he decides to ask me for a 1v1, and of course I say yes, why wouldn't I? 
He then calls me the dumbass, don't know how I am, but yeah. And so we get to our first encounter, this is what happens. He's in one of those stupid, overpowered, reversing truck things that we can't shoot at them. Oh my god. That's what's gonna have to tell me in the comment section, but these take like 30 rockets, or maybe even more, like 50, but they're so overpowered. And all he has to do is just reverse, 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 make sure he doesn't show his front to me, and then he's literally impossible to kill. And then of course, if the truck gets low in like health, he can literally just drive away. And what am I gonna do? To be fair, I could have got like an oppressor or something, that would, like might have worked, but he could have just driven away and hidden his garage until I got off it. And I just, I don't know, yeah. I didn't, at this point, I just didn't realize how strong the trucks were. But yeah, this guy decides to get an oppressor, which is like, I thought that was a good thing, because I can usually snipe oppressors, but my aim is awful. And of course, I hit mark him with BST. He literally doesn't have BST. He's literally just plain, if that's what you call it. But yeah, I, so yeah, I hit mark him. And it's a. Uh, I didn't get the kill. Fuck's sake. So yeah, I spam like 50 billion rockets at him, and they don't seem to do any damage whatsoever. Now, of course, he's been an absolute little piece of poo, and I don't want to fight him while doing this, so I'm just going to suicide. Like, if he wants to play like a little bitch, I'm going to play like a little bitch as well. But then he disappears from the minimap, if you can have a look. Keep paying attention, keep paying attention. Boom, he's gone. Is that and a ghost orb? I swear if he's gone ghost. Yeah, I thought or RC tank, he's gonna RC. Yeah, I thought he went ghost, or maybe RC tank, and the correct answer is he's in RC tank. You can hear it. I just managed to destroy his tank, and of course, because that didn't work, he decides to go back to his stupid overpowered truck tactic. Now, I'm not going to show all the times I spam rockets, it was literally, I swear if you count the ones that hit, it was probably like in the 30s or something like that. But like 30 rockets, and like all he has to do is just literally run away. Fuck off! Oh my god, this game's so fucking wank. You can see the chat, he puts bye bye loser. Uh, you can also read the other thing, he says he's going to report me to Rockstar, called me a noob. Even though he's the one that he's literally won't loose. fight me using normal guns, but yeah, he leaves. <sighs> He then blocks me, <laughs> and then I join his crew and decide to stalk him. Now the worst part about this situation is that literally the only way for me to kill him now is because as soon as he sees my name he's going to teleport to his apartment or run away or do something, so I literally have to join the session and autocan him within like 20 seconds or else there's no, no chance of me getting a kill. Now he can just, if I'm not in the session, he can go around, kill random people, use his stupid tactics to grief. But when I'm in the session, it's like, nope, I don't want to fight an actual fight. I don't want any competition. I just want the easiest way out possible. First thing he does after I kill him, he goes ghost. Now, of course, he tries to kick me from the session by voting to kick me. And then he goes off radar when he's on the radar because he's just so good at the game. I'm pretty sure he's even just hiding in the underground at this point, so yeah, great. After that intense fight, he realises he can't go off radar anymore, so he just leaves. Now I've already wasted my autocan, so I join him again, and this time I have to fight him normally, and this is what happens. <laughs> oh, bitch. In fact, he goes offline, so yeah, great. But it's okay because the next day I can join him, use my autocannon and kill him again before he inevitably leaves the session. His little dot disappears on the map and he ends up teleporting to his apartment, of course. And guess what, he doesn't come out of his apartment at all. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't really understand this guy, he's actually just like so dumb. And after this I realise it's just going to be a stray cat situation where I just end up stalking him for like a month and I literally get nothing out of it, so I decided to leave him alone.
yeah, basically to summarise this video is people have so many things to use at the moment that are just like so overpowered and so annoying to counter. And the main thing is just like if they get even close to dying, they can just teleport away or go to an RC tank, and this gives them like a free like extra life. And it's just it's just really disappointing that the games come to this. But hey, hey I'm going to try to learn some more. So like, comment, subscribe. Whee!